Gemini's, welcome to my channel. Let's take a look at what to expect for the week ahead. We're going to do a six card reading. I'm gonna pull a spiritual message for you, also a spiritual advice card. So let's jump in. I'm going to, of course, cut to when the cards are actually laid out because the shuffling, I just find it exhausting <laughs> in the beginning of the video. So we're just gonna cut forward. Also, any information you may be looking for to book a personal reading, whether it's a December forecast, 2024 forecast, excuse me, um, my love readings, any type of reading I do have on my website. Check it out below, it will be in the description and make sure that you subscribe. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So first card we're going to get into, we're gonna to touch on the spiritual message and the spiritual advice cards towards the end, the, the oracle cards. But the first card is gonna represent the overall energy and we have the crone of swords. So a huge focus on yourself. Also, when it comes to being consistent, concise with your plans this is what you're trying to do trying to stay focused trying to weed out distractions as a whole this week too could be a great time for you to communicate how you feel or have those tough conversations maybe you've been avoiding to have with certain friends certain people around you whoever this may be there also may be some business stuff that you may have to sort out this week Okay, you could be getting some interviews if you have been job searching. That's another thing I'm seeing with this card. It just feels more of a, okay, I need to do X, Y, and Z, and we need to stay on course type of week. And you could even be setting goals right now to get started on so that going into the new year, you have some sort of head start. You could be very clear on what you're working towards and what you need to, again, energetically disconnect from. Now, the hidden influence for this week, we have the Hermit card. So there could be some stuff going on within your subconscious that could be influencing you. This could be subconscious worries for some of you. This could be maybe even things that you're aware of that are going on within your subconscious, but they could still be affecting you in terms of the decisions you're making. But... There's things that are going on on a subconscious nature that could be influencing you. Others, or excuse me, another thing that I'm picking up on with this card, others of you could be spending a lot of time to yourself and that could be influencing this week for you as well. Maybe you're wanting to connect more with people or you just feel like you're really in your head. Maybe you're needing to spend more time around others or around people who are genuinely supportive of course not just anybody but um yeah just being in your own space or isolation could be an influence as to why maybe you want to connect with people more or you just kind of feel disconnected in a sense now with love specifically i have the queen of swords so you could be dating another air sign a gemini libra aquarius or you could be having somebody on your mind. There could be a conversation you want to have with this person or they really want to have with you. And there could be a chance for clarity or understanding to come out of this conversation. Uh, some of you have been very disconnected from your love life. For my singles, this feels like focusing on yourself, focusing on business. You may have decided that maybe you just want to take a step back from that for some time. But I'm getting that it's either that or it's a scenario where this week some of you could have a very interesting conversation or even come to an interesting conclusion in terms of what you're going to do with an existing relationship or an existing connection. Now, going into your career, we do have the Ten of Wands. So you could have a lot going on. You could have a lot of work that you have to handle, take care of, especially for my business owners. You could have a lot of like logistic stuff you have to take care of in the back end, like taking out, um, not taking out, excuse me, delivering packages or sending out packages, managing your website, like the logistic stuff or you know, restocking your business. It's, it's certain things that you're having to take care of. For others of you, you could feel stressed out by the amount of work that you have to do, period. Like you may work a lot and 
this week you could just feel a little overwhelmed with the workload or what your job is expecting out of you in terms of performance. So there could be some question around that. For others of you, it could be just the work environment could be a cause of stress. Like maybe you work around people who you don't really get along with and this is something that's a problem. Now, going into what I see with the possible challenge with the Four of Pentacles, this could be saving money. For some of you, the issue is saving money. You could have a lot of bills or things that are coming up that you're having to like spend the money that you're saving. Or with the Four of Pentacles, there could be certain things that you want to save for, certain big purchases like buying a home or getting some cosmetic surgery done or <laughs> getting getting certain things that you've been needing for some time to kind of elevate your life in a sense. Shoot, you may even want to invest your money into a business. And the challenge could be maybe staying on course when it comes to saving. Like maybe, like I said, bills are coming up or maybe you just find yourself in a spending mood. Christmas coming up. But with the Four of Pentacles, yes. And then also this could speak to needing to open up. Some of you could be too closed off to new experiences when it comes to dating or when it comes to making money and it's being open-minded, that's going to help you receive even more. So it's making sure that you're not being like closed off or being stuck in a way of seeing things. Now, the advice for you with the High Priestess, use your intuition. If your intuition is telling you or you're getting an intuitive nudge, something doesn't feel right, and not because it's coming from a biasness of what you went through in the past or focusing on like the past repeating itself, but more so like there being clear red flags or your intuition just yelling at you in terms of something not being right, it's important that you're listening. Okay. Also, if you're in a space to where you don't really know how to navigate throughout this week, whether that's emotionally, mentally, whatever it may be, quiet the mind, quiet or disconnect from your emotions and go within your intuition or allow yourself to feel and let that guide you during this time frame. Because some of you could be trying to let your mind process everything and even your emotions and it's not helping it's just making you feel more lost or confused. So this is the time where you want to allow yourself to feel through this week instead of trying to like, I don't know, have this tight grip on how things are supposed to turn out. And, and if it doesn't turn out that way, then it's all bad, which is not true. Now, let's go into the Oracle cards that we have here, Gemini's. So when it comes to just the spiritual message for you, we have, let me move this back, be honest with yourself. It says all feelings or all your feelings, excuse me, even the difficult ones have a message for you, accept your truth, then let source take it from there. So this is about being real with yourself when it comes to how you feel about certain people, your situation, and the more honest you are with yourself, the easier it is for you to fix your situation because our emotions, they're more so like a temperature check than something that you're necessarily supposed to move on. Your emotions tell you like, hmm, okay, this person or this situation makes me feel this way. So then you can sit back and evaluate what to do next based off of logic, not just based off of emotions. That's just supposed to, like I said, alert you on whether or not something is in alignment with you or not. But during this time frame, you really want to be real with yourself. That's the advice or that's the message here. Be honest with yourself when it comes to you outgrowing certain spaces, you feeling certain ways. That way you can transcend certain people, certain situations that don't resonate. And last card we have is compass. So this does talk about letting spirit lead you when you don't really know how things are going to play out for you or what to expect next. So again, this card with it being in reverse, it does talk about, and I was trying to find my little booklet, but I don't know where it's at. It's okay though. 
uh, with this card, it's important that you're not trying to be so in control of how things play out that you completely go off track or you divert from the bigger plan that spirit has for you. And I think that's the theme for this week is to go with the flow instead of trying to, you know, be 10 steps ahead in a way where you're, you know, missing opportunities or being closed off to outcomes that could be better for you. Be in a space to where you just kind of allow, especially since you don't know how things are going to turn out anyways. <laughs> Spirit's plan is always going to be better than our plan. But this is what I see. I do wish you the best of luck. I hope that this was helpful and I will talk to my Geminis in the next one.